turn now to two of the temples from antiquity that had sibyls attached to them, uh, Delphi and Kumai. Kumai we've already talked about and we'll come back to it. It's maybe the most famous temple where there was a sibyl, um, or maybe the temple most famous for its sibyl. Uh, but Delphi is allegedly uh, where the sibyl originally uh, started practicing. So let's take a look at Delphi first. Delphi is one of the major sites of prophecy in the ancient world, arguably the most well-known and perhaps the most important. Um, there were other sites, uh, like Dodona is another one huge in the Greek world that also had a sibyl. Delphi was best known as a sanctuary for the god Apollo. This may not have been its original function, uh, but its heyday of power and authority uh, really was under Apollo and his priests and priestesses, one such priestess being the Sibyl. And by the way, the Sibyl is apparently the precursor to uh, the probably better known Pythia of Delphi, which we'll talk about another time. Pausanias and Plutarch report a few different traditions of the Sibyl's parentage. She claims divine parentage, uh, and you'll see there's some different gods that she might be attached to. And I should also say that these lines of Pausanias that I'm quoting, and again, all of my sources I'm going to put in the description down below, I'll put the English versions, these couple of lines might be corrupt, meaning there's some portion of the text that is missing or is unclear. I'm going to do my best here to go through. Right where he starts talking about the Sibyl, he, he, I think he's talking about two different people here, um, but I would be open to other interpretations. So he begins by saying that Delphi is the place where there first was a Sibyl, and then he's talking about a woman named Herophile, who I think is a second Sibyl. Um, so she might be the successor of the first Sibyl, I'm not sure. She's still very ancient. Um, Pausanias says that she allegedly uh, predicted that Helen would be the cause of the Trojan War, so she's imagined to be from this mytho-historical time. Uh, and this is really just a way of saying we don't know, this priesthood is so old that we don't know where it comes from. So Pausanias says that Herophile wrote hymns to Apollo, wrote verses for Apollo, uh, sometimes referring to herself as Artemis, the sister of Apollo, sometimes calling herself the wife or even the daughter of Apollo. She's really dedicated to this god, and she spends her time, you can imagine, sitting there, maybe plucking a lyre and uh, singing songs, religious songs. One way or another, she found herself at the temple, and then ever since then, the temple had an element of prophecy in it. Uh, and then later, the Pythia takes over that responsibility. And meanwhile, other sibyls pop up at other temples, uh, like Kumai, which is where I want to turn right now. Like